All right, Coach Smith, you guys are firmly in the lead here at home, Hearn Center. Uh, I said you guys didn't have to show up tomorrow. You corrected me. Yeah, you, know, you can't have that mindset. The mindset tomorrow is do what we've been doing all season, have your consistent wrestling, getting after it, get to your ties, scoring positions. I really liked what our team was doing today. We were the guys attacking and getting, you know, getting to leg attacks and scoring takedowns. And nothing changes tomorrow. We don't, I don't even care what the team scores. You've got to just go out and wrestle the way you know how to wrestle. And that's, we have some guys that have to go win matches to qualify. We have guys that have to go win and win MAC titles, and that's the goal tomorrow. Levon, tough match against Makati, yeah. semifinal. Put him on the same half of the bracket. Um, I look at that match. Uh, Haran beat Levon. Mm -hmm. And that was how the, those yes. two got put together. But looking at that match, I mean, Makate wrestled it perfectly. Yeah. You know, he didn't engage, didn't engage, did a great job of playing the edge, I thought. And, and you know, kudos to him, it's, it's gamemanship. But what do you say to Levon after a loss like that? You gotta put it away and focus on tomorrow. Get your weight down, get focused. You gotta go get two wins for the team tomorrow and two wins for yourself to finish third here. I look at the control you had at 74 and 84. Mickelson and Evelyn look really tough. What do those guys got to do tomorrow? You know, obviously, Evelyn's got an All-American, mm -hmm. and Cody Walters, that's a great matchup. And then, as does Willie's got a, an All-American, he's yeah. beaten. And Deca, what do those guys got to do to win MAC titles? Just get to the, I mean, when you watch Johnny, he wrestles really consistent with his ties. He knows where he wants to be. And when he's comfortable in his positions and stays that and doesn't take himself out of his game plan and try to do things that, that he doesn't do, I've seen him do that. When he loses, he's trying to do things he doesn't do. When he gets to his ties, controls them, looks to his shots, good position, he he wins. He's good on top. Same thing with Willie. Willie's got a. Willie wears on people. He's got to be heavy with his hands. He's got some really heavy hands. And when he's doing his little elbow passes and getting to his two on ones and running to ankles, he level changes so well. When he's doing that, he's going to win. He's going to win matches. And the great thing he does too is when he gets it late in matches, he's looking for back points. Willie goes for the pin. He got the major and a pin today, which was big. Jaden comes out. And apparently, Northern Illinois, I don't know if they forfeited, whatever happened, the medical default. Medical. No, no match. No match. We what didn't do you know it. I didn't know it. You had no clue. I had no clue. Well, at Actually, that point, the what coach, do you The head coach was sitting right behind me, and he explained it. So I said, hey, all right, no big deal. And I said, I didn't know. But I, he had told my assistant. So I guess they had known. I had no idea, because I was out coaching. He had told one of my assistants in the back beforehand. So, well, he's just got to go up and get a workout. I'll probably have him wrestle a, a little bit of a match tonight, just to get some wrestling in, get some weight off. Looking at Sinan at 133, they got one bid. He's in the finals. First off, he's enormous. I don't know how that guy makes 133 pounds, but what does he got to do to be the MAC champ tomorrow? I think what that might be the first time that anybody's called him enormous because if you see He him, looks like skinny. a big, no, but I'm saying he's might a be big tall. frame guy. He might yeah. be tall. Yeah. I don't know if he's enormous. I, when he's in the weight room, nobody would call him enormous. I wouldn't enormous. say that. That's not what I would say, but frame wise, he's bigger. No, he's yeah, got he's, a, he's got a good size frame. What, do you, what does he got to do tomorrow to, to be the MAC champ for you guys? He's got to go get his, his takedowns. He's got some good leg attacks and he got that takedown at the end of the, uh, I think it was the first period against Squire, which was huge. After he had given one up, got, got out and gets the takedown right at the end. That's big, and he's got to keep, keep shooting. Keep shooting, because he's got some good leg attacks, and, and he's tough on top. So we're going to have to get out there and do what he does. He's been doing that all year. He's lost some tough, tough matches, but he's put himself in position to win the MAC and qualify for nationals, and we need that. We need him out there, because he can win matches at nationals for us. Allen is obviously smashing everybody I've seen him wrestle today. Two tacks, I think? Yes. Two Maybe a pin and attack, but he's... No, he's he didn't get, he got two tacks. Two tacks, and he's crushing everybody. Allen's, he's right there. Obviously, Drake. Drake, you need Drake to win. You need those yeah, guys Drake to be... a tough one. Claxton's yeah. tough. I mean, top two, three that's, seats. That's you need like, those guys yeah. to be in the top three seated. Yep. Both of them. Looking at those two, those two finals tomorrow, those guys, what do you say to two seniors going in at home, MAC tournament? Last time here, what do you say to those two? Nothing changes, fellas. Go do what you've been doing your whole careers. Winning the positions and attacking and... Beast on top. That's what they do. Ten qualifiers. You had it in 2012, I believe. It was I think we had it two years in a row. Yeah, 2012. Um, one year you didn't have an All Americans. Next year you had five All Americans. You need at least five All Americans, five to seven, to win the national title. What are you saying to these guys? What are you saying to Mike England, Joey Lavalley? Those guys, you gotta have them in St. Louis. Yeah. What do you say to those guys? We're not worrying. We're just worrying about the next match. Not making it. You know, this is to qualify. It's your next match. Here's what you do. And keeping it calm, keeping them in, focused on the things you can control, which is, hey, here's where you put your hands, here's the shots you're looking for, he might be doing this, but here's what we do, and we've been doing that all year, and they, they follow the game plans and go, go get it, go get wins. So that's what we do, we keep it pretty calm. After the duel win over Iowa, is there any doubt in your mind you guys can't be the team champs in St. Louis? They've felt that way since April, honestly. That team met 
had a team meeting and said this is what we want to accomplish and they've worked that way and done things so it's like I've been we've been talking about that since the since April so it hasn't been since we beat Iowa we've believed that all along and especially when Evelyn and England dropped down it was like wow these guys are doing even more for the team sacrificing for the team that's pretty cool and here we are We're, we put ourselves in contention to win the MAC and then we'll focus on the next you already won the MAC coach we got to focus on tomorrow winning matches. How's that? <laughs> hey, thanks for the time. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully we'll get to talk to you tomorrow. Yep.